Hi, in this video, I am going to show you how to embed Google's map in Windows form application. Welcome, my name is Eugene. In this channel I will make C-sharp programming easier. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon. This tutorial illustrates how to build an app using the various tools provided by the designer. The Windows Forms Designer provides many tools for building Windows Forms applications. In this form we need to change its properties first before adding some tools. For changing its background just go to Properties and Back Color. Now we can add some tools for us to interact with. From Toolbox we are going to drag Split Container, Web Browser, Text Boxes, Labels, and Button. If you find the steps are too fast you can pause the video for a while and resume if you're ready, or go to Settings and change its speed to a desired range to catch up. After dragging a tool to the form, if you want to multiply it, just click and hit Ctrl plus C for copying and Ctrl plus V for pasting. The following procedure is must for getting the address. Use the properties window to change the way your form looks. You can change four colors too. The Properties window displays different types of editing fields for particular property. If you want to align this tools just follow the steps. Text properties allow designers to add text strings of up to 20,000 characters to messages. Now, add a button, then change its text property and property name. Just follow the step. The button tool provides standard toolbar button behavior and look. Button tools can display an image and or text and can reside on toolbars or menus. Next step, just rename all the text boxes by clicking the property window, then change design name. Now, we are ready for the coding part. Just double-click the button search to view the code. Then call the string builder program then assign it a variable query address. String builder is a class that is useful to represent a mutable string of characters. And it is an object of system. Like string and C hash we can use a string builder to create variables to hold any kind of text which is a sequential collection of characters based on our requirements. Now attach the hypertext transfer protocol to query address. Append means attachment. But before that we need to define the strings and parse the text boxes to string that we defined. Text 
Box Street is for String Street, Text Box City is for String City, Text Box State is for String State, and Text Box Zip is for String Zip. Then do not attach the string to query address if it is empty. We use if statement for this. Inside the if statement, if not null, combine all the positive variable, use comma and plus. Then copy the if and multiply four times. Next, attach the city, state, and zip string to query. From text boxes to string called, then attach the HTTP to query, then append the string to address. Now, insert the query address to web browser tool for navigation. We can test the program now. It should work. No, an error occur in the script page. We need to read the error first then think for a solution. We can see the map is embedded now. So all we need to do is suppress this error in the web browser. I think we're all set. Let's debug, run, and test the program. Okay, we nailed it, the map is officially embedded to the form without any errors. Let's search, if the Google map can offer us direction, if we search it inside our form browser. This is all for this video. If you enjoy this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe hit the bell icon.